Kindergarten Cat by J. Patrick Lewis and Allie Busby. Kindergarten Cat. In a cozy green corner in a kindergarten room, a kitty cat napped by the classroom broom. With each child sitting on the carpet square, teacher said to the class, take a look over there. Mr. Big Buttons found her by the jungle gym and she wiggled and purred when he tickled her chin. So he brought her inside all shivery scared as if nobody wanted her and nobody cared. She's furry, she's floppy, like a raggedy doll and her paws are all fluffy like cotton balls. Shall we call her Tinker Toy, our kindergarten cat? I think she'll be happy with a name like that. Sit here, Tinker Toy, shouted Keisha and Jake. Next to me, cried Nathan. Here, kitty, called Blake. Then Michaela scooted over right by the teacher's chair and she let Tinker share her carpet square. Kitty cats can't read, explained Antoinette. They don't know their colors or the alphabet. They can't add two plus two, yelled Kale. They're better at sleeping or chasing their tail. Teacher said, I think anyone can learn. Let's give Tinker Toy her kindergarten turn. Her favorite foods are a mouse and a bird. Can you name this critter? Meow, Tinker Purr. Five little rabbits sleeping on a bed. One fell off. Meow, Tinker said. Foot fits in a shoe. Hat sits on a head. What else goes together? Me, you, Tinker said. Well, the kindergarten kids saw right from the start that their kindergarten cat was kindergarten smart. Why, little Tinker Toy, teacher said. She's a whiz. She's a thinker, Tinker Toy. Kind of cat she is. Once she lived outside, now she'll stay indoors. Look, she's making a bed in our paintbrush drawers. Then, teacher put her going home coat and she wrote on the board this going home note. Let's sound it out from beginning to end. Goodbye, Tinker Toy, our new kindergarten friend. Tinker mewed goodbye. What a long school day, she thought. I should put my crayons away. Then she stretched times two. And she yawned times three. And she fell fast asleep on the capital C. And she dreamed of milk in a golden bowl. And she dreamed of mice in a paw-sized hole. And she dreamed of cats who liked to roam, but the very best dream was of kindergarten. Home. The end.